So, I wanted to make a quick tutorial on one of Acropolis's greatest features. I'm not sure if it's, you know, shown too much, but I want to talk about workspaces. So right now, I'm running Vanilla Smash. You can kind of see Acropolis in the top right corner and the new uh, paddle screen, as well as, of course, the mod manager button when it loads. There it is. <laughs> So with workspaces, what you can do is you can have a set of mods for, you know, Vanilla Smash, or you can have it for HDR or Alt S or like pretty much anything else, or even like just quick play mods and non-quick play mods. All within just, you know, not even having to do anything with your SD card. So how do they work? Well, you know, you notice that I went to the Mod Manager button, and normally, you know, you just go to Mod Manager to turn uh, things off and all on but if I go to workspaces instead it gives me this menu now if you don't have any workspaces you'll have you know your default one but let's say I wanted to make one just for HDR I'm gonna hit create workspace enter let's call it HDR hit OK and then I'm gonna press the Y button to show options and I'm going to set this active and then change the active mods. When you do change active mods, it pretty much brings up your mod manager again. So uh, let's go. I need HDR. HDR stages. I feel like that's the old HDR stages. And HDR assets. Yeah, it's definitely the old HDR stages I have there. <laughs> and then it's going to ask me that my preset is successfully changed. And it'll take changes on boot. So let me just uh, reboot. And of course, this will take a while just because, you know, HDR changes so much of Smash Ultimate with all the files being patched. But you can see I haven't taken out my SD card. Um, my SD card, like, doesn't have, like, any special thing, like, you know, like, instead of, like, a, I don't know, SD, SD slash ultimate slash mods or SD ultimate HDR mods. None of that. It's just still all within that same mod directory that we all use for, you know, installing mods. It's now that I, you know, go all the way into my Switch and just uh, create a whole new workspace. And this is going to take a while, trust me. <laughs> Alright, there's the HDR loading uh, icon. And so now, you can see, without even undocking my Switch or anything, I'm booting into HDR right now right now there it is right now so cool that's just how you uh without having to change anything on your sd card you can have mods for hdr and mods for vanilla or training all within just one sd so no changing sd cards i know some people have multiple hd card or sd cards for their mods um, let's go ahead and just make a quick vanilla pack right now. So I'm going to change this to quick play. And I'll have, now have a quick play workspace. So again, I'm pressing Y to go to the options. I want to set this quick play one to active. And I can just select my mods right here. So if I really want to play uh, Larry Lur Falco on the <laughs> quick play, and I might as well just put this in my manager bu menu button as well, so I know that this is vanilla. Um, I can go ahead, reboot my uh, game once more. And now instead of all the HDR mods being loaded, it'll just be that Larry Lur Falco, as well as, you know, the old uh, mod manager button. But yeah, I hope this very short, unscripted, quick tutorial helps folks who, you know, are worried about, like, oh no, what if I want to keep my vanilla mods and also my HDR mods, do I have to delete everything? No, you can just keep everything on the workspaces. Easily one of our Acropolis's best features that doesn't get enough spotlight, and I feel like, you know, since I have, like, 10 different workspaces on my other SD card, uh, I definitely want to show off this amazing feature, and hopefully this helps you, helps your friends, you know, so they can, you know, download HDR, Ult S, or Wubor, or any other pack, and, you know, feel safe with just being able to add more skins, or just switch back into vanilla, or a quick play, or a training uh, mod pack, if you will. And 
just for validation. Give it a couple seconds. And there's that mod manager button again. So yeah, uh, thanks for tuning into this very quick and unscripted tutorial.